American 2027. You got time for a question? Yeah, we've got a transponder squawk of 7750. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Yeah, that's the same thing, squawk 7750. Okay, I thought I remembered way back in my student pilot days that any kind of 77 uh, prefix would in indicate as a hijack code. <laughs> I better double check just in case they're right there. Okay, I'm sure you're right. Apparently, a lot of things I learned when this, uh, the student pilot were wrong. <laughs> American 2027, I told you code should be good. The only thing that uh, would be wrong if it was a 7700 code, but a 7750 should be just fine. Okay, well, thank you very much. Then uh, I just got to figure out why night air doesn't seem to have as much lift as day air. Hey, and 05 Romeo, we are VFR under the clouds right now, and if you'd give me a steer for uh, mile square, please. You're not familiar with this airspace? Yes, sir, I'm very familiar with this airspace, but just coming through the clouds now would be easier if you, sir, you'd give me just by heading for a moment. What kind of nav equipment do you have on board? Slant uniform, VOR, sir. 205 Romeo, fly heading 150, vector mile square park. Hey, we're currently 150, sir. Thank you, sir. Just wanted a little help. Thank you. Well, let me give you some advice. Sometimes we're not... We're really busy. We've got one controller working all the airspace and a lot of inbounds coming in. The last air, airliners coming into John Wayne. I probably don't always have time to hold your hand. Sorry to say that, but that's the truth. 25 years I've been flying this airspace, sir. I've never had a controller talk to me like that. You're welcome to call me on the phone. Love to.